There are three parts to the video, the activity, recording scores, and the slideshow reward. First up, the activity, the two minute drill. I apologize in advance for not having screen share. But anyway, go to Math Fact Practice in Google. It's the first one at the top. You can also make a shortcut for kids to click on. Click Next. And first, mute the sound. It sounds horrible, especially if you have 30 going at once. The difficulty, uh, elementary, just 5 or 10, usually start at 5. And choose your operation. In your case, choose subtract. I selected add for the video. Go ahead and start when everyone's ready. And you'll see the first math problem. You actually have to click on the answer on the keypad over on the side, which takes a little while to get used to, but they get used to it. If you get the wrong answer, you have to hit clear, and it won't let you go on until you get the right answer. You'll notice the problems are pretty easy, but that's kind of what you want for this drill because you want it to be sort of rapid fire. You don't want them to struggle at, uh, at this activity. It's kind of to build confidence. Once the time runs out at the bottom, this report comes up, and then we got to record the scores. Part 2, Recording Scores. In the description, there's a link to a Google Docs worksheet you can print out. Each student can fill out their own worksheet and every time you do the activity you fill out the level, the type, subtraction, and the score, which was 7. And was this your personal record? Yes. Each time you do the activity you try and break your own personal record. It's not a score to share with any of the classmates, it's just for them to track their own progress and for the teacher. As a teacher, you can also keep track of the scores on your own spreadsheet that you set up with the names at the top and the dates on the side. And every time they do the activity, you can enter in their scores when they turn in their worksheets. And if it's a personal record, you can go ahead and highlight the cell so that you can see how many times they're making progress. I do this so that the kids are always trying to beat their own personal record and not competing against each other. That way they just keep improving against their own score and hopefully just keep getting faster. Also, when conferences come along, you can go ahead and graph their progress at this activity. It's a nice chart to show, you know, how Johnny's been doing at the two-minute drill. And, you know, if you want to print out the other person's Karen's progress you go ahead and make a chart of that and you have that to show at a parent teacher conferences part three slideshow reward in the description you'll see a link to a generic uh, slideshow presentation and what I did was I made this on Google Docs and what it, what you do is anytime a student breaks their own personal record they get included in the slideshow what I would do is I'd play some inspirational cheesy music from uh, YouTube like Eye of the Tiger or you know Chariots of Fire or you know whatever you can find and uh, so you got that music playing in the background and you got the the slideshow running for the uh, for the kids and they just love you know having their name in lights if you have a projector put it up on a big board and you know, it's, uh, it's a fun reward for them to have when they break their own personal record. I see my reflection there in the screen. That's great. Yeah, for a more in-depth description, just go to the website under the tips section and you'll see a, a better description of this activity. And that's it. See ya.